So in this problem, problem number two, we're asked to write this combined table class and all of its methods, maybe if it has any instance variables in it. So um, let's just write the bare bones of it and see where that takes us. So just like with the single table class, we're going to want to do public class combined table um, and all of our instance, instance variables and methods will be contained within this class. So we're probably going to want to have some sort of instance variables, right? Let's say a variable for table one and a variable for table two. The reason why I'm saying that we want these two is when you think about a combined table, fundamentally it's made up of two single tables. So we're going to be calling methods on this table one and this table two that we've combined to make a combined table. We're probably going to want to keep track of that within our class. Another thing we're probably going to want to do is to create a constructor. We want to be able to create a combined table somehow. And you'll notice in the problem statement, when we're creating a new combined table C1, we're saying it's equal to combined table. And then we pass in two single table structure that takes in two single tables. The thing with this problem as well is it's a little bit tricky. You kind of have, it doesn't tell you exactly which method you need to be initializing. It just gives you code snippets and it says these lines of code should work. So ideally what you're doing is you're scanning through this table that has all these statements and you're picking out which methods seem most appropriate for the combined table class. Okay. We, we want to have a constructor. We also want to have a can seat method, which will return a Boolean if it can seat the number of people. And then last but not least, we have this get desirability, which will return a double value for the table's desirability. Okay, oh my goodness desirability. You'll also notice that we're calling this set view quality method, but you'll notice that we're not calling it on a combined table object. We're calling it on one of the single table objects. It even says this within the table. It says since view set view quality is a single table method, you do not need to write. It. You might be tempted to write set view quality, but that should not be within the combined table class. So this is sort of our pseudo code for what our class should look like. So let's go ahead and convert it into actual code. A variable for table one. So remember that combined table is made up of two single tables. So we're going to want to create some instance variables for our table. So let's say private, and then the type of table one is single table. We can just call it table one. And then we want to do the same thing for table two, right? Next, we want a constructor. So what this will do is it'll allow us to instantiate a new combined table object. So we want this to be public. It doesn't return anything. It'll just be named combined table. And as you notice in the uh, table with all the statements, it takes in two single tables. So si single table, it's called T1 and single table T2. Okay. Now, what do we want to do with these single tables that have been passed in? Well, we want them to now be a part of our class. We want to assign them to our instance variables so that we can use them later on within our methods. Okay. Let's do something like table one is equal to table T1 and table two is equal to T2. So what we're doing is we're setting these single table objects equal to these parameter objects that are being passed in. Um, notice also if you had, I don't know, maybe named them the same thing like T1 and T2. This statement is a little bit vague, so you'll want to do something like this dot T1 equals T1 and this dot T equals T2. So you can be explicit about, I want to set this combined tables instance variable T1 to the parameter. And I want to set this combined tables T2 variable instance variable to this parameter. To avoid this, I just like naming them different things, but you can do whatever you want. And that's all we need to do inside of our constructor. Isn't that great? All of the single table logic that we're going to need in our future methods that we're going to be writing, we can just call on these instance variables that we've created. So let's go ahead and move on to can seat. 
So this is going to be another public method. You'll notice from the table, can seat will return either true or false based on if the combined table can seat the number of people that has been passed in as a parameter. So public Boolean can seat, and it's being passed in an int for number people, okay? When you combine two single tables, you end up losing two seats because the tables have been pushed together. This is probably similar to what you have experienced when you push two tables together, where you know in the middle, you can no longer seat someone there, obviously, there's another table there instead. Let's first figure out how many, figure out how many people a combined table can fit, okay? And as it says in our description, it can seat a number of customers that is two fewer than the total number of seats in the two single table objects. Um, what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to set uh, something like new variable max people and set that equal to table one dot. Okay, let's we'll see if there is any method within the single table class that will give us the information we're looking for. Get num seats is looking looking pretty great, right? So let's go ahead and call that num seats. And that will return how many people we can fit at that first table. Then Remember, combined table has two tables, so we're also going to need to do the same thing for uh, table two, okay? But we need to subtract two because we've combined the two tables and we've effectively gotten rid of two seats there. So int max people, so now we've gotten the total number of people a combined table can fit. Now we need to determine if that number is greater than, equal, or less than num number people. Okay. We can do something like if max people, let's say for example, number of people passed in is five and we determine that the max number of people we can fit at our combined table is also five. That means that we should be good to go. Same for if the number of people we want to see if we can see it's four, but we have five seats at our table, we should also be good to go there. So if it's greater than or equal to the number of people, if we have a chair for every single person we're trying to seat, we can say that we can seat all those people. Otherwise, if max people is less than number of people, we return false. Okay, so if max people is less than number of people. We can even simplify this statement a bit more. So um, remember that this returns a Boolean in and of itself. So we could do something like return max people is greater than or equal to number of people. Something like that, where if this is true, it'll say, yeah, we can see that number of people. If it's false, no, we cannot. So that's our can see method. Lastly, we have this get desirability method. Each table has some sort of view quality, and we need to use that along with the height of the table to figure out what the desirability of that table is. Okay, um, first let's Let's look at the header of this method. So another public method. Um, this will return a double double get desirability. What's going to be passed in? Nothing. Okay. This is just a getter. So when someone calls this method on a combined table object, we don't anticipate a parameter to be needed. Okay. Combined table has a desirability that depends on the views and heights of the two single tables. If, they're the, if the two tables are the same height, the desirability is the average of the view qualities of the two tables. If they're not the same height, however, the desirability is 10 units less than the average of the view qualities of the two single tables. So it kind of sounds like in both situations, we're going to want to involve the average of the view quality of both tables. So let's go ahead and get that, get the average of the view quality from both tables. We're gonna once again want to use some sort of single table method on both of our single table instance variables. So double average view quality equals, okay, so table one dot. We're scanning through the methods of the single table class and it looks like get view quality is right up our alley. It returns a double, perfect, perfect, okay. Get view quality. Okay, and then to get the average, we want to add table two's view quality as well. Uh, so now we just have the total view quality. So what we're also gonna to wanna to do is divide this number by two to get the average. Now we need to determine if the two tables have the same height or not. 
determine if the tables have the same height or not. We're going to once again want to call another method on our instance variables. Let's do something like boolean same height. This is going to be equal to table one dot get height, which should return an int equals to table two dot get height. We're getting the height of table one, we're getting the height of table two, and we're seeing if those two are the same. If they are the same height, then we can just return that average view quality. Otherwise, we're gonna want to return 10 minus that average view quality. Because for some reason, if the tables are not the same height, then that makes them less desirable, I guess. I don't know. I feel like I've never been to a restaurant and been like, ah, these tables are different heights. They're 10 less desirable units in my head. But anyway, I digress. It's not really important. Let me add some pseudocode. Uh, that is the entirety of our combined table class. As always, please do not walk away after you finish writing this code. Make sure that you test it out. Let's go through the statements one by one. So in this first statement, we're creating a new combined table. What that means is we're going to be using our constructor. So we're passing in T1 and T2. So let's go ahead and just write down the attributes of these tables. So four seats, a 60 view quality, height of 74 centimeters. And then for table two, it's got eight seats. 70 view quality, height of 74 centimeters as well. Okay, cool. So then uh, let's go ahead and move on to the next statement. Can the combined table seat nine? All right, well, let's see. What's the maximum number of people we can seat at this combined table? It would be table one get number of seats, which is four, plus the number of seats from table two, eight minus two, and that is 10. Can it seat nine people is 10 greater than or equal to nine? Yes, so we return true. Can it seat 11 though? The only thing we need to change here is the number of people parameter, which will be 11. So is 10 greater than or equal to 11? That is false. So we do not have 11 chairs. We cannot see 11 people. So we return false for this statement. The next statement, where we want to get the desirability of the combined table. What we're gonna be doing here, I'm gonna do this on the next line. We're gonna get the view quality of table one, which is 60 and add that to the view quality for table two, 70, and divide that by two. So that would be 65. And then we need to figure out if they have the same height or not. So the height for table one is 74. The height for table two is 74 as well. 74 is equal to 74. So what we do is we just return that average view quality that we calculated up here, okay? And that looks like it is true. It'll be 65.0. Remember, because we're using doubles here. So that all looks great. So now we have, we're have we making a combined table out of table two and table three. A little bit confusing, but basically what we're doing here is we're now setting table one equal to T2, where T2 is an object we've already created. And we're setting table two equal to T3, where T3 is another table we've created. But um, notice we're just passing it into that constructor has T1 and T2. Table one, which is technically T2, has eight seats, 70 view quality and height. Table two, which is technically T3, but stick with me, has 12 seats, 75 view quality and a height of 76 centimeters. So the heights are slightly different for our second combined table. Can it seat 18 people? Well, let's see. Table one dot get number seats is eight plus 12 minus two, which would be 18. So is 18 greater than or equal to 18? It is equal to, so we can seat 18 people. Um, that's the only can seat call on C2. So we move on to get desirability. So we first we calculate the average view quality using table one and table two. So that would be 70 plus 75 um, divided by two, which is 72.5, okay? Now we need to check if they have the same height. Well, 74 does not equal 76. So unfortunately we can't return that average view quality. We have to return average view quality minus 10. Like, oh man, it's such a bummer. These tables are two centimeters in difference. And I mean, it's no longer desirable. It's no longer as desirable as the other combined table, right? So anyway, this now returns 62.5. 
then let's say that table two now has a better view quality. I don't know, maybe we moved a plant that was blocking one of the windows and now table two is, has a better view. But remember T2 we set as the instance variable T1. So we're not gonna be updating table two, we're gonna be updating table one. So this view quality is now 80. So in our calculations for the average view quality, we're gonna do 80 plus 75 which divided by two is 77.5. These two tables still do not have the same heights. 74 does not equal 76. So what we're gonna be doing is returning the average minus 10, which is 77.5 minus 10, which is 67.5. Okay, it looks like we've written our combined table class perfectly. We checked all of the statements and made sure that we're returning the right value. If we get rid of all of the pseudocode, here is what our combined table looks like. Um, we can even inline the same height if we want. So we can get rid of this statement and just put the comparison in line like that. So we've got our instance variables, we've got our constructor, we've got the can see method and the get desirability method. It all looks great. So hopefully that makes sense. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments and I hope you have a great rest of your day.